finally here. You guys have been asking for this, the six-in-one trim router jig. And I've been working really hard with my buddy, Jonathan Katzmoses, to develop this product and get it to you guys. Yeah, actually, we Tamar's here in Santa Barbara at my shop. We're developing the manufacturing process and getting this thing ready to go. We're actually doing a pre-sale. Yes. Yeah, so if you guys order it now, it's going to take about four to six weeks for you guys to get it. And it comes with a lot of cool things. In fact, we're doing a, uh, a celebration of Tamar's first product. We're doing a limited edition 3x3 Cat's Moses stop block. And we've made a lot of changes from your original video. And we've we've made a lot of things a lot cooler. So uh, there's we... definitely some bonus features. And it also fits nine of the most popular trim routers. Let's go see how it works. I think one of the coolest things about developing this and using it over the course of a year is you know, not only did we hone the things that you had mentioned in your original video, but we also found some new features that really worked well with the jig. I think one of the things that you talked about originally that were great were flush trimming joinery, dovetails, box joints, like dovetail keys, as well as freehand routing. I think it's super stable, really safe, and allows you a lot of extra real estate to do a lot of operations safely and accurately. One of my favorite features with this jig is the circle cutting, but you can cut a circle two ways. So normally you have to drill a hole in the center of your board to make a circle. Well, not with this jig. With this jig, you can cut a circle without having to drill a hole in the center of your workpiece by using this setup where this pin locks into the hole on another one of the pieces. We also added a hole to the home plate piece and threaded it, which is a new feature, which allows us to do really tiny circles or three foot wide circles. Pretty impressive. You guys have seen a lot of my channel that I use this for flush trimming edge banding. So I like to cut my edge banding just a little bit bigger than the plywood so that I don't have to worry about alignment during the glue up and I could flush it up afterwards using this setup over here. And this keeps a really stable base on the side where if you are using a trim router like this without any setup over here and you're putting it on the edge of a piece of plywood with a flush trim bit, it's a little bit wobbly, which isn't really so safe. So that's something that I always love to do. The edge guide is really incredible. These accessory pieces, these extension pieces mean that you can do it in a lot of different orientations. You can just attach directly to the main base or you can have a really long edge guide, which allows you to reach the middle of your workpiece or big tabletops, that kind of thing. An added feature that we did not have on the original jig was to allow for a guide bushing. So I use this a ton with template routing and I use a guide bushing for my loose tenon jig. So that is definitely awesome to be able to use this six in one trim router jig with also my floating tenon jig. In addition to that, one really cool thing that we figured out is if you flip it upside down, put it in a vise, it becomes a router table. So if you don't have a router table, this is a really awesome setup for you. It comes with everything you see here, fits all of these routers will have a list down in the pinned comment and description. If you don't see your router on their list, unfortunately it doesn't fit, but we did a lot of work to find all of the most popular routers as well as their plunge bases, which you'll see listed in that list down below. So let's talk about how to put this thing together and what comes with it. Here's what will come in your kit. The main base, two handles, eight bolts, six knobs, three rectangle base pieces, two extension arms, and one home base piece. The home base piece and one of these rectangles have threaded holes for this small threaded pin. This is for the circle cutting. Now this pin is super small, so be on the lookout for this. It's going to be taped to one of the handles in the packaging. The instructions will be emailed to you separately and it'll show you exactly how to put this whole thing together and how to attach your router to it. So what's important to note here in the instructions, we put a guide here for all nine of the most popular routers that can fit onto here. What you have to do is line this up onto the base of the jig to mark out the holes for your specific router. Then when you install your router, you may need to rotate it 180 or 90 degrees to line it up because the hole patterns may be asymmetrical on your router. But I promise you that it will fit. We did a lot of research into this. One of the coolest things about this, not only is it made here in the USA, it's made right here in Jonathan's shop. Let's go see how it's made. The jig is made from quarter inch cast acrylic, which actually cuts on the laser really well. We have three of these best cutter lasers running about 40 hours a week. These have been fantastic machines for me and they've worked great in large scale manufacturing. 
the jig takes about 46 minutes to cut. There's eight of them. This is a laser, so it can only cut 2D. So it cuts out all the through holes, slots, and everything like that. And then we're gonna head over to the CNC. Because this was a two machine operation, it was incredibly challenging, especially because, you know, we have over 50 holes, slots, and recesses to cut in each one of these pieces. So we had to devise a system that was not only reliable, but was extremely accurate. I'm talking down to the 0.001. Work holding was a big problem because there's so many pieces. If we had a clamp for every single one of these, not only would it hit the bit, but it would add hours and hours and hours to manufacturing time. So what we did, we got uh, from a company called Black Box, we got it built a vacuum table. And again, that's still not gonna hold the pieces down, right? Because there's so many holes. We created this really cool negative space work holding jig that allowed us just to put pressure where there are no holes in these pieces. And that has worked out really, really well for us and has allowed us to get a really accurate machining process. So what we do is we come in, we turn on the vacuum table, we load it up. That keeps everything nice and square. We then home the machine and go about routing. Now, where it takes 46 minutes to make eight on the laser, it takes about 20 minutes to do uh, eight on the CNC. So CNC is about twice as fast. We use these really cool single flute quarter inch bits from bits and bits that have worked out really, really well. One thing to note, if you're routing acrylic at home, down cut leaves a horrible finish and up cut always leaves a great finish. So little manufacturing tip if you're doing acrylic. One of the coolest things about this is we've devised a system that allows you to purchase this, a done product for a retail price that is less than the materials to buy it and make it yourself. And I think that's really a huge win when you're bringing a product to market. And I think Tamara and I are so proud of our ability to give this to you at the lowest price we could. So let's talk a little bit more about how the pre-sale is gonna be handled and how you're gonna get your product. The pre-sale starts today and you can find the link down in the description box and in the pinned comment. It will take about four to six weeks for us to get it to you guys. Yeah, in fact, uh, we've been working hard on it for a couple months now. We've got a bunch already ready to go, so they're gonna go out in the order received. One of the things that's really important to know is we just don't have the manpower to, re to respond to individual requests for updates on ship date. We will send out weekly updates. We won't fail at that. We'll get you an update every Friday uh, and let you know what's going on with the pre-sale. But I just, I think I can say from both of us, this was really exciting that we could work hard enough and get enough of this that we can bring it to you at a price that is less than it costs to buy the materials yourself off Amazon and make this from tomorrow's plant. I'm so excited for you guys to finally get your hands on this and you don't have to go through the trouble of making it. You're going to have it ready made pretty quickly. And don't forget we have that limited edition three by three stop block. That logo looks so, so cool. cool on there. It's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. These will be available for a limited time. Thank you for watching and thank you for having me on your channel and uh, thank you for coming out here and helping us put these together. Thank you for having me out here and thank you for all the whole process that you have going on here <laughs> in this shop. This shop is amazing, Jonathan. This whole process of manufacturing these is just insane and it's been so awesome to be part of this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.